Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Charlotte. I'm a registered nurse. Today I am really, really excited because I'm going to be sitting down with you and making my impossible list. I was inspired by Unjaded Jade. She's a YouTuber that I follow. She kind of got famous doing the study tube and she makes really, really nice, inspiring, motivational videos that encourage you to set goals and live your life to the fullest, which I really like. And she came up with this concept called an impossible list. It's just like a bucket list with the exception being that when you complete a goal, you are encouraged to expand upon that goal and make a new one to keep pushing yourself yourself to improve and build on your skills and your confidence. Again, which I really, really like because I think the idea of having a continuous journey and a continuous set of things to work towards is really, really cool. So yeah, I'm going to be sitting down. I've got my laptop here. I'm going to get my Notion page up and I'm going to be jotting out my impossible list. The other thing about an impossible list is that when you have completed a goal, you write down the day and the date and stuff of when you achieved it and exactly what you did to achieve it and then you make like a sub setting or a sub goal and continue on from it. So before we get into everything don't forget to like, subscribe, do all of that good stuff but for now let's dive right in. So this is my notion page which I have set up and I've already started working a little bit on it. So this is the impossible list. The reason why I started on it was because if I hadn't had done that then I would have forgotten those few things because they were quite specific. So the way that I have organized it is I've got professional goals which I'm including mainly my nursing career because that's my job and it's something that I see myself doing it up until retirement. So um, professional goals is for nursing and I also am including YouTube as it because YouTube is kind of like a professional endeavor for me. And then educational goals, so that's things like skills, like language learning where you actually have to study and learn, but then also things like any university degrees that I want to continue doing or papers and stuff. And then I've got fitness goals, hobby goals, travel goals, miscellaneous goals and then I've also added in literary goals because I don't know if you can tell but I really really like reading and if there's one thing that I want to do with my life it is read as much as possible so I've added in literary goals. And that's a really cool thing about like bucket lists and goal setting and possible list is that you customize it, you personalize it, you make it completely your own so everyone's is going to be slightly different. Yeah so I'm going to start jotting some stuff down. Let's have a little work through. <laughs> so in miscellaneous goals I'm going to add things like home ownership because I feel like that is something that I really really want to do and then also pay off the mortgage for that as quickly as possible. So we're adding those two in to miscellaneous. I think, so under professional goals, we're going to put become monetized on YouTube. I think I might work through them in order just so this video isn't all over the place. So we'll start with professional goals and just be good about it. So I would like to get 5,000 subscribers youtube i'm so grateful for everyone <laughs> who has subscribed to the channel and who you know does watch the videos because you know it does make me really really happy thank you to everyone who's joined our little community i really appreciate you and that's one thing that i do want to do for nursing is i want to attend an international nursing conference. Okay, so another thing that I want to do for professional goals is I would really like to advocate for student nursing pay. I don't really know like, how I would do this because I don't have that knowledge on how to kind of enter that field, but it's something that's really important to me. So I'm going to put advocate for, advocate for nursing student pay. Also would like to publish a nursing article, um, peer reviewed, like I want my information that I'm sharing with people to be peer reviewed and trustworthy. I'm going to add this and then put the date as well, collaborate, yeah, collaborate with a brand. So I did this, so I did, I've done it twice actually, so in 2022, 
two, I want to say. I did my first ever collaboration with Udi, and then and then I did it again this year. OG 2024. I'm going to leave it as a collaborate with and then I'm going to have a little think about a specific brand that I would like to collaborate with. Oh that would be really cool as well is make some sustainable slash eco-friendly merchandise for my channel. I think I'm going to leave that there for professional goals. Obviously I can always come back to it and add on to it. So I'm moving on to education goals. So these are the ones that I had already started working on. I want to go on an intensive French language course in France. I want to pass the A1 CEFR French exam. So those are things like the DELF and the DALF. <laughs> I don't know which one I want to do but I know that I want to pass like an internationally recognized language exam so the A1 which is the complete beginners and then that also can give me time to expand on that so when I achieve that I can move on to A2 and then I've put do postgrad studies for nursing so in New Zealand you do your bachelors and then you can either do honours which will be equivalent to masters, but you do more project-based stuff, which I'm not interested in doing. In order for me to get my masters, I have to first do a postgraduate certificate, then a postgraduate diploma, then my master's degree, and then I think maybe PhD. So even though that kind of leads on for each other, I've written them all down just so I don't forget which what the process is. This might sound a bit weird, but I do want to learn how to dog groom. So I've got Juno and I feel like it would save a lot of money if I just knew how to do it myself and also then I would be able to get her exactly how I wanted her and I could also grow my like peaches and stuff and then it could also become a secondary stream of income if I did it casually. So I'm putting it under education because you should probably go through a course to do that. Continue with language stuff. I also want to learn do a beginner's course in New Zealand Sign Language. I think I'm just going to circle back quickly to professional goals and just add, um, do a TED talk. Because I feel like in order to do a TED talk you have to first have some professional like standings. I'm going to put about wounds and diabetes and asthma. So let's put complete a wound Paper. Do you complete an asthma course slash education day? Sorry, I'm going back to professional goals again. Organize asthma action plans and implement them in my GP practice. Um, I think that sounds good for education for now but just like with professional we might circle back to some stuff so let us move on to fitness goals so already i know that i want to complete a 30 day yoga challenge and then kind of moving on from that i also do a little bit of running i do the, i use the zombies run app so i would like to do my own complete a 30 day running challenge. I can do two kilometers in 18 minutes. That's like my high score. So shall we put um, run two kilometers in under 17 minutes. I also want to run two kilometers with no breaks. There's a thing in New Zealand called Around the Bays, Around the Bays, and it's like a charity fundraiser thing. I did it once and we did a walking one um, but you can also do jogging and running so maybe because I've already done the round the bays walking. Complete round the bays at a jog and raise at least $300 for SPCA. I want to be able to do a plank for two minutes. I want to be able to do one full push up because I cannot do them. Also really like the idea of ballroom dancing. So when I was in intermediate school, we did ballroom dancing lessons for our ball thing. But then we also had the opportunity, if you wanted, you could sign up for a regional competition, even if you were a complete beginner. So I plucked up enough courage to ask somebody to be my partner and then me and him, we competed <laughs> at this like regional 
ballroom dancing zone day and we actually got into like the top five i think for the cha-cha or the jive or something that was so much fun and we were terrible but it was so much fun and like i want to live out my jane austen pride and prejudice dreams so maybe i also can put um sign up for a ballroom dancing class another thing that i did in like girl guides which is a very long time ago and again i might have just romanticized this in my head but is paddle boarding and kayaking but i really really enjoyed it so hire a kayak and go kayaking hire a paddle board and go paddle boarding oh, i'm just uh, so many ideas guys uh what was it? go horse riding I also did that when I was a kid and I loved it. I, I don't know if I would still like, like it, but let's give that a go. Can't think of anything else for fitness, so let's move on to hobbies. Oh, um, so learn how to read music using Duolingo. I've started that and it's actually quite handy. I would like to learn how to play the piano. Complete na no rai mo which is national novel writing month and that's one of my goals for this year i have made it my goal every single year and i've never ever been able to achieve it so i am praying that this is the year that i am able to do it i'll just put underneath it write a novel and publish a novel this is crazy but have my moth moth <laughs> Have my novel be turned into a film or television vision series. Learn how to sing. Learn how to knit. And I kind of already know how to crochet, but I haven't been able to do anything with it. And it's actually really difficult trying to keep everything even. So I think because I kind of know how to crochet, I'm going to make another goal and have it be like make something. Oh, make a granny square blanket. I think that's cute. We can do that. Complete a scrapbook. And I think I'm going to leave it there for hobbies. Okay, moving on to travel goals. So I'm hoping that next year I can actually start achieving these because my plan is to go to Europe in April next year and then I want to go to Hawaii around like November-ish maybe. I have to do some research about the best time to go. Europe next year, I want to go to Brisbane to visit my friend Sonia who lives there now and I want to do Hawaii. I'm just going to list countries that I want to go to. <laughs> there's just so many places that I want to go to. So now we're moving on to miscellaneous goals. So I've already added on my own home and pay off the mortgage as quickly as possible. So I'm going to put get a dog and then that was completed in 2022. <laughs> but then I want to get a second dog. <laughs> I want to get another Shih Tzu and I want to call her Freya because I want like a goddess fiends for names so we've got Juno which I think is Roman and then Freya would be Nordic I'd need to get a third dog for something Celtic <laughs> I would like to get a second tattoo go to a Lana Del Rey concert and go to a Hosier concert I was going to go he's coming out this year to New Zealand all of the tickets Sold out. I would like to donate blood 25 times, go to a ball, go dog sledding. I want to go to a renaissance fair and I also want to go to a cosplay convention. Um, have a full luxurious head to toe spa day. So that would be like getting my hair done. 
eyebrows, eyelashes, facial, massage, my nails. I don't really watch rugby and I'm not like really involved in it at all, but I'm a New Zealander. And I would love to see the All Blacks play. So I'm gonna put, go to an All Blacks rugby game. I'm gonna put that and sorry, I'm going back up to travel goals. I'm gonna put travel first class, fly first, fly first class under travel goals. There's an Instagram page that I follow called Lost Land Collective, I think, and she does photo shoots, but like fantasy photo shoots. I want to do that so badly. So do a fantasy themed photo shoot. Is that cringe? Probably. Am I cringe? <laughs> Again, along with the dog sitting, I'm gonna put let go of a floating lantern in miscellaneous for now, but I'll add it to travel when I figure out where I can do that. I want to get a sulky dress. Oh, if I'm going with clothes, get a house of CB dress as well. So that, I think we're going to wrap up the miscellaneous there, but obviously I can keep adding to it. So miscellaneous done. Okay, and finally, let's go on to literary goals. So I'm gonna put, um, so one thing I really, really want is my own secret library that's like hidden away either like in Narnia at the back of a wardrobe, like there's a wardrobe and you open it up and you go through a library or like a secret room hidden behind like a bookshelf and stuff. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna put, um, have my own secret library hidden behind a bookshelf slash Narnia style. <laughs> I have my whole life to achieve this list, guys. <laughs> Literary goals, I want to read the entire series of Game of Thrones. Read all of Jane Austen's works because I love her. Oh, I could complete my good reads. Reading goal. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to put this down, get a second bookshelf because I am running out of space. Get all of the Mortal Instruments books. Oh, that could be a good one. Read one book from each country. I haven't read Lord of the Rings. <laughs> so read the first Lord of the the Rings book and then I can decide if I like the series enough to continue with it. Read all of William Shakespeare's plays because he's got a lot of other stuff and let's try and get one more literary goal. Read Jane Eyre. So that was my impossible list that was making it. I can't wait until I start like achieving stuff on this list and then I can start writing the dates next to it and kind of expanding on everything. I'm so happy that I've done this. It was a lot of fun as well. I love just like imagining what your life could be like and all of the different things that you could do and get up to. It just really makes me excited to kind of imagine the different paths that your life could take. So. This was a lot of fun and I really hope that you guys enjoyed and that maybe you got some ideas for your own impossible or bucket lists. Comment down below three things that are on your impossible list. I would love to hear what you guys want to do and also give me some ideas as well. So yeah, that's today's video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Again, I really hope that you enjoyed. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe to all of that good stuff. I will see you next Monday with a new video. But for now, have a lovely day and a fabulous week. Bye. It's rated X. That we get extra, extra.